Look at this crisp combat footage from Operation Varsity, the huge airborne operation that leapfrogged gliders and paratroopers across the Rhine River and into Germany on 24 March 1945. Concentrated pre-invasion bombing of German airfields and areas surrounding landing zones helped secure the skies for the 9th Troop Carrier Command. As a result, their 2,046 aircraft and gliders sent on varsity missions logged an overwhelming 2,029 successful efforts, according to U.S. Air Force historians. More than 9,000 members of the U.S. 17th Airborne Division collaborated with more than 7,000 members of the British 6th Airborne Division. On the American side, in addition to the C-47s and CG-4s depicted in this film, C-46 commandos participated. Varsity is generally cited by historians as a success and the pinnacle of such airborne operations of World War II, although some critics have suggested the crossing of the Rhine might have been accomplished without the aid of an airborne armada. One thing that can't be disputed is the professionalism and courage of those who flew in Operation Varsity.
In the film, notice how each glider tow rope wrapped with a loose intercom wire is carefully placed on the runway to feed out easily and untangled before going taut and tugging the CG4 glider awkwardly forward. Some of the gliders look brand new for Varsity. Others have ghostly remnants of earlier invasion stripe paint faintly evident as the invasion force needed all the gliders it could muster.
Films of C-47's landing after Varsity appear to show some aircraft that landed nearer the combat and brought back wounded soldiers, a classic backhaul efficiency for airlift aviation. Other landing C-47s have lanyards and remnants from under-fuselage cargo parapack airdrops. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images channel. Thanks for watching and thanks especially for giving this video a thumbs up. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button and join more than 114,000 subscribers who appreciate the Air Rail Images channel's unique approach to historical and current aviation and railroading.